Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Mark from Miroc Corvette and today we're going to talk about some hood props and their differences for the 1984 to 96 Corvettes. Now these hood props, they had three different design changes, four if you want to get really technical, but you do have your 84 to early 86 hood props, your 80, late 86 to 87, and then your 88 to 96 style hood props. And we're gonna take a look, walk around to some different cars that are here and uh, show you the differences of those hood props on these cars and how you can also convert your earlier car to use one of the later style hood props. So first up here, we're gonna take a look at the 84 to early 86 style hood props. And this car here is an 86 and this one does have the scissor style hood prop on it. So you can see it unfolding there as I open up the hood. Whenever the hood opens up the whole way, you can see this little notch in the top bracket, set it back down and it locks in place there. Uh, these here, you have a bracket, they attach down the bottom, some of the bolts go through the inner fender. And then on the top side here, there is a plate that's riveted up into the hood. And then the top of the prop then mounts to that. Now these style, um, hood props, they are pretty flimsy. Uh, if I grab this here, you can just kind of see some of the shake that's in it. They do really tend to uh, get abused and destroyed over the years. If somebody goes to try to pull the hood down while it's up or you have it up on a windy day or something, they can really, um, a lot of them break, a lot of them go bad. And here we have another 86. This one has a broken scissor style prop and yeah, look at that. Just totally busted, broken, done. So for your early cars here as well, you also have the hood support struts that are located in on the hinges. So we have one there on the left and we have one there on the right. These hood struts, they do offer some support um, helping lift that hood, especially when they're new. A lot of the cars out there that still have used original ones on them, those struts are typically worn out and bad. Uh, so replacements of those for your early cars is a good idea. Now, we'll get into showing some on the later cars here, but these struts were only used on cars up until about late 89, 90, they went away. Um, the hood props, they changed a little bit earlier than that, <clears throat> but after the latest hood prop change in 88, uh, those support struts were really no longer needed anymore if you had a good um, assisted hood prop that we'll jump to here soon. So the last thing to mention here about the early scissor style brackets is they're a little bit of a pain because they're on the passenger side of the car and you usually have to walk around then to um, close them. And when you go to close them, what you have to do is you have to push the hood up and then it's gonna be a little tough to do one hand here holding the camera, but you have to reach in. Then we just pulled that bracket backwards. And then whenever we go to close it, you can see that scissor style, it's collapsing there to go and close the hood. So moving on to the second style hood prop, we have a uh, 86 convertible here, which has a second style. We'll get this hood lifted up and hey, look at that nice motor, huh? That's assembled correctly. Well, anyways, we have the second style of hood prop here. This is, again, uh, late 86 to 87s, and these are a telescoping hood prop and they do not have any lift support in them whatsoever. So basically you lift it up, this little pin comes out, locks it in place, and we still have our lower struts on both of the hood hinges to offer us some lifting assistance. Now, these hood props, they have a lower bracket which attaches to the frame rail down here, and then it extends further back, and we'll have some bolts that go in through the inner fender that tie into that bracket. If we look at the lower prop, so the bracket, there is like a pin style rivet connection that's not able to be separated off from that bracket. And if we move up to the top, you'll see we also have that same style pin up there where the top of the prop connects to the bracket. Now I'm also gonna note here, notice that we have this prop is to the outside of the car, 
whereas the bracket is to the inside of the car. We will see some differences in that later on that I'll point out again for you. But again, this is the late 86 to 87 style hood prop. All right, so we have went over the first two styles of props and here we'll move on to the last style, the 88 to 96. Now there is a little bit of differences in 88 to 91 and 92 to 96, which we'll point out on these two cars here. We have a 90 convertible and we have a 92 Black Rose car. Hey, future voiceover Mark here to throw in a correction before everybody destroys me on the comments. This car is a 1990. Even though it has the later style looking rear bumper cover, this is an aftermarket bumper cover. See, it's not rubber, it is a harder material. It has the moldings in the bumper cover to be of the earlier style rather than what you would see on most of, or on all of the original um, 91 to 96 bumper covers. We'll show you the front end. See, front end of the car here, it is a 90. So, are we clear? Good. All right, so taking a look for the third prop design, we'll look at this 90 here, and yes, it is wrecked, so excuse the damage to the front here as we open this up. But here, on the 90, we have a gas assist style hood prop. Now, this guy here, this upper portion, right here this is the gas strut portion and the lower part is just a basically a metal tube whenever the prop lifts up the whole way it will sit on the edge like that to keep the uh, prop from falling back down and the hood from falling uh, sometimes those can be a bit dangerous and to uh, if a gust of wind comes by blows the hood you can have the situation where this will pop back over and then the hood will be falling on you as you're working on the engine so good safety thing just to uh, prevent that from happening take a screwdriver stick it down in there and that hood prop is not going to fall out anymore now notice that we also have this orange little tab on here that is whenever you want to lift up the hood and put the hood prop down you would just press on that it moves the lower portion over and lets the strut fall back down now again this is a 90 so for the 90 we no longer have those lift struts but notice we do have the pins and the attachment points for those struts should we want to put them on but yes from 90 those were no longer up on those hinges we'll also take a look at the upper part of this hood and see again how we have the prop to the outside and the bracket to the inside of the car take notice of this notch here and how big it is now we're going to take a look over at the 92. So on the 92, we'll get this hood open. Here we have a little bit of difference with that hood prop. So gone is that orange tab. That orange tab would have been there 88 to 91. Now we just have the lower tube. The metal extends up a little bit higher. Again, with these, uh, sometimes they can fall back over and then if the hood prop's weak, the hood will fall on you. Uh, so again, with these, if I'm working on them outside, I usually take a screwdriver, stick them in there. Uh, this one's in pretty good shape though. Now, on this one, if we look up at the top, notice that bracket. It's now on the inside and the prop, or it's on the outside, outside of the car, uh, in behind that inner fender there. And the prop is closer to the inside of the car. So that changed in 92 whenever the hoods had a bigger indent cut in them in this area over here. And that was for the alternator clearance on the LT1s. So if we look at the lower bracket support on this third style prop, you'll notice that it's a little bit different um, than what we had on the second style. Whereas the bracket is smaller and then it bolts to the uh, this this bracket here, which extends out to support the side of the front bumper here. Uh, it does bolt in back here and bolts in down here. On the prop then attachment to the bracket, there is a pivot ball there that we can easily remove this prop off of this uh, bracket should we need to change it out for a new one if this one loses its uh, lift, lifting abilities. And we have the same thing on the top style bracket where you can see you would just slide this little metal spring clip out and then the prop will come off of the pivot ball there. 
So again, this is the third style. This would be the 88 to 96 style bracket, but if you want, or hood prop, but if you want to get technical, 92, 96, and then over here, there we go. We have the 88, 91 style. So I do need to jump back because I missed one thing. I pointed out here that these pins for the lower uh, lift struts, they are applied on those 90 style, uh, or on the 1990 hood hinges there. And if we jump back over and we're gonna look at the 92 here, uh, these actually removed in 91, but on the 91s you'll see that we just have an open hole here. Same on, on that side over there, just an open hole. Uh, 91, those posts for those lower hips, lift struts went away completely and they were no longer applied so as you see i have a camera helper here now so it's not just me moving the uh the camera all around every different way but uh another thing to show on the third style of hood props here um, if you replace them you can't install them upside down so don't be a stooge look at this one here it's incorrectly of the way that it should be um, Empty tube goes on the bottom, lift strut goes on the top. So it's really common for your owners of the earlier C4s to want to upgrade to the later style of hood props, uh, you know, specifically the 88 to 96 style hood props. That way they can get some lift support, uh, making that hood a little bit lighter to open than what it is typically. So um, we'll show you on this car what that would involve. Uh, ignore all the mud that's on this tire here. These are parts cars. Uh, they do get abused in different ways prior to us getting them. But at any rate here, on this car here, when you get a um, third style hood prop, the most important pieces you need is the upper and the lower brackets. Now it's not gonna be a direct bolt on to be able to put this bracket onto the car, but we'll show you quickly here how that would work. So I'm gonna take this, I've already removed the fender brace and this was an 86 with a scissor style. So there is no, nothing over here already, but we would basically set that bracket down in place and we'll have two existing holes, one back here and one on the side that would line up. Now, if you went to take your uh, bracket here and put it back in place, you'll notice we cannot get it into place there. So this bracket needs to be modified and here's a modified one. You're basically gonna go cut it here and here to give us this little clearance area and then that will allow, take this and see, we can slide it in there. We would be able to get the lower bolt that goes in through here and this uh, hose support bracket here. And then uh, we would still be able to get our top bolt into the bracket down into the frame and be able to mount the lower part of our hood prop. Now for the upper you would just go and you would mount the bracket in to these top two holes that are here on the hood. Now something important to say, 84 owners, you cannot do this. The 84 hoods will not have these hood or these holes in the hood up here for the bracket on this side. Your 85 and up cars will all have the holes up here. So 85 to 87 cars, you can convert to the 88 to 96 style hood brackets. Uh, then you really no longer need the lift struts on the hinges and everything could be done within the prop itself. So that there covers all the differences in hood props for the 84 to 96 Corvettes. Uh, now, like I said, this 88 to 96 style hood prop, that is a great upgrade to do for your earlier cars. Uh, offers a little bit more lifting assistance to that hood. Uh, the earlier hoods, they can get heavy to lift, especially with worn out uh, lift struts down on the hood hinges. Uh, we do generally offer these for sale when we have them available and that they are in good condition. We do sell them with the upper and lower brackets, everything that you need to put onto your car. 
Um, but if you have any additional questions about hood props, uh, that you have uh, questions about the car in general, uh, check out our website, MiracCorvette.com. Send a message, uh, give a call, be glad to help you out with anything that uh, you are uh, wondering about or working on. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned something today. Uh, hit the subscribe button, like, appreciate it, and we'll see you next time.